Okay. I can't sleep and I'm embarrassed of some of my content, so I tend to over share once I get embarrassed. I want to flood the airwaves with enough stuff that I can feel safe. It's like if somebody catches a glimpse of you pooping and so you show them even more so that it, it has less of an impact. You invite them in and you offer them a dose of Jankum, your style. And just say this is this has yet to be fermented. You've got to take care of that on the on the receiving end. But for right now, here you go. Here I have this for you. Because you're embarrassed because they found you pooping. And you you don't know what to do. You want to kind of even out that experience so it isn't such a tangent it isn't such a staccato spike instead it's it's smoother so that you can be cool and I'm just fundamentally not cool I am a spiky person and that's what I want to talk about a unicorn has a horn a two acorn has two horns a three acorn three a sevicorn seven or sev, zoticorn ten or zot, and onward. But when you get into the large numbers, skevicorn, you're not going to count skev horns. Sixty-seven horns is too big to count unless you have a few minutes to do it. But depending on their arrangement on the head or body. It may be very difficult to count unless they're arranged in an orderly fashion. You might recount certain horns or double count or miss some horns and think you already counted them because they are disorganized. So think about the really large numbers and how many horns that could be. And this kind of multicorn I think of as a parasite with all of these spiky horns built into its apparatus. And so the numbers of horns could be all sorts of things. So for instance, this is a giantacorn. This is truly a, a multicorn with a huge number of horns. But we're going to start over one eon, which is 10,000. In fact, we're going to start at three eon, which is a, a trillion. So I'm going to say skev 3 in, so 67 trillion. Skev 3 in, zvain, hun, snix, 2 in, 7,916, 10 thousands, or no, 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 no. Oh man, hundred millions. Fifth twent one in, so five thousand five hundred twenty one ten thousands. Skix Floricorn. That would be, if I said it all together, the name of a thing that has that huge number of horns. And it is just as legitimate as a tuacorn. It's easy to say tuacorn and to master that notion. But if you master Pujamal and you sacrifice to Pujamal some of your poop, leaving it to be flushed without the jankum joy of huffing and puffing and eating and drinking, if you do that, then you can see how that prefix really changes everything because it could be any number under the sun. We have more numbers than there are particles in the universe as far as we can tell. That's what we have. And so 
when it comes to game theory, especially game theory about racism, I think what we need to remember is that there are certain places, blackface, the N-word, where everything hinges, where responsible N-words and blackface can be the turning of a tide. And it's something we should aspire to because ultimately we really are all N-words and we really are all the same species. And really there's no one that doesn't count and doesn't matter. The things we do impact people far and wide. And some of us haven't had the advantages growing up that others have had. And we simply need to be cognizant of those people and care for them. Even if they become evil, even if they commit terrible crimes, we have to care for them enough to not put the death penalty on their plate. We have to have some semblance of human compassion for every one of us, in my opinion. But it's in my humble opinion. I can't do anything about that, that striking fact that I believe. And I can't even get to sleep. I huffed so much jankum today, and I drank jankum juice that was so caffeinated that it's almost like uh, uh, a palm, an Asian palm civet uh, and his jankum. Asian palm civets are beautiful mammals that consume cherry pits, and they poop out the best coffee ever as after they consume those cherry pits. It's completely unique. It's a kind of coffee that Jankamites know that very few other people know about. And that coffee just sends you up the rafters. And that's how I feel tonight at this time when I want to go to sleep. I feel like I've got everything in the world to do, to accomplish, that I have to do right now. And that's why I blog, because I feel important. How untrue is that at its core? Nobody is important. We're all just star stuff, showing for a moment and then dissipating. But I feel important. I feel like the things I think are worth getting out there into the world. And so I try helplessly to communicate an alternative number system that even people that encounter it don't really ever get. And I'm stuck with these ideas. I'm stuck up a tree with this investment in myself that nobody should have to make. I don't want to be invested in myself. I want to slide sleepily and calmly into the dark night of death. I want that as soon as possible. But I can't have that because I care too much about my impact in the world. And I can't divorce myself from that concern. And so I'm stuck making videos when I should be going to sleep. And I hate it. I hate it. I guess you are the beneficiary of it because you're watching this video. But maybe you're not. Maybe my impact still isn't good after all the effort I've put into making my impact in the world good. Still, it could be a waste of time. That's what I worry about with shit in a bucket that he determined I was a waste of time and he hit the road. I would hate for that to be true. But maybe it's true. And in that case, I'm so sorry. If you're watching at this point, I've wasted 10 minutes, but probably 10 hours of your time. And I, I'm apologetic about it. I really am. Thanks for watching. And I hope you can comment and talk with me about some of what I said in this video. Good night, I hope.